Welcome to Surfaces and Splines, a series of SOLIDWORKS video tutorials presented by the Damani Group. My name is Andrew Lowe, and I'm an industrial designer with the Damani Group. And in Surfaces and Splines, we'll take a look at the uh, production, uh, tool-ready modeling of this uh, work flashlight. Last week we looked at sketching splines, and this week we're going to take a look at connecting uh, splines together smoothly. So there's two kinds of connections in uh, SOLIDWORKS. The first is tangency. So I have an arc sketched here, and if we look at the curvature combs, they don't change because the radius is equal along the, the length of an arc. Uh, however, the spline, the radius can change. So if we connect these with the tangent, we get the, uh, the angle of the curves is equal at the junction. We can evaluate this with the curvature combs by seeing that the, the combs touch each other and they, uh, they align, but they're not um, the same length. In a curvature continuous connection, they actually are the same length at the junction. This means that both the angle is equal and the radius is equal. Now what does this mean in the real world? Well, we can analyze surfaces with uh, zebra stripes, uh, which is kind of imagining the part in a highly, uh, if the part was highly reflective and in a room with a series of overhead lights. We can see if we, the curves just touch and they're not smooth, there's a, a break in these zebra stripes. If the curves are tangent to each other, we can actually see a break in the highlight. And if the curves are curvature continuous to each other, we can actually see that the, there's no break in the highlight. It's a very smooth connection. So there's different ways we can uh, create these, and, there's, and we can optimize uh, curvature continuous connection between blinds. So uh, I'm going to sketch a new spline here between these uh, two points. I'm going to make it tangent to this uh, construction line and equal curvature here. Now I may need to adjust the length of the handle after it's applied. It was a little uh, large there. And I'll turn on the widget and let's uh, just increase the scale a little bit so we can better see what's going on. So here I have um, the curvature continuous connection. We see tangent relation, the curvature relation. We get this little widget which is the curvature control widget. And I found a way to kind of cheat. We can see that the, the kind of sharply uh, ramps down here. We might want to have a smoother connection between these curves. So if I right click the curve and um, grab add curvature control, I get this little lightning bolt. I'm going to grab it and drag it all the way to the other end of the spline and apply it. And what this does is when I click the spline, I have this new option available to me called raise degree. So this uses a higher order of math and we can see how much smoother that connection is as soon as it's applied. So we may need to adjust the length of the handle here. We get that, that better connection. The other way we can have really smooth connections is using that new style spline. So I'll resketch a style spline. I'm going to have maybe pull these points out a little bit. And then I'll click these two. Equal curvature. And I have a really smooth connection here. Note that when uh, using the style spline, adding the tangent relation locks this first uh, control point, and adding the curvature locks this second one. See how this one only can move on a straight line, can't move it up or down. This one, I can't. I can move it in some positions, but I'm not as um, free to move it. Whereas this one, I can move it wherever I like. Now, if I do need more points, I can just uh, grab the option, increase the curve degree here, and it gives me a little more. Um, level of control. So I'm going to connect these uh, these two uh, arcs together here. And I have a new sketch that's converted these arcs into it, and I'll draw a spline between the two. So I'll apply equal curvature here, and I'll apply equal curvature here. And let's take a look at the, uh, the curvature here. See, it's not the best out of the box, so after adding that equal curvature relation. You can drag those handles and improve the, uh, the, the smoothness of that connection. Note that the raised degree is automatically enabled if I'm curvature continuous on both ends of a spline. I get these little lightning bolts. If I did go to standard, you can see technically I'm curvature continuous because 
the, the curvature combs are coming down here. The radius is equal at the junction, but raised degree just gives me that much smoother kind of lead-in. So here's the using the widget, and remember to play around with the handle lengths after applying the curvature continuous relation. Alternatively, we can use the style spline, which is always going to give us a nice smooth connection. So thanks for uh, checking out this video this week. Follow the Damani Group on LinkedIn. We'll be posting videos uh, every week.